Hi Diego, how's my little buddy doing today? Come on, let's go cook something up with Grandpa. Howdy YouTube, we just left the research workshop and we've arrived at the Stove Tech distribution store. And we're going to pick up some stove tech stoves to a couple of humanitarian projects AFAB World Charity is working on. So we're going to go in and meet Todd and figure out what's going on. It was just basically like a smoke detector um, okay. to detect your PM. Then a little electrochemical carbon monoxide sensor there. Uh, the fan for the intake, so it just sucks it in there. Okay. Um, and then an SD card that records all your data and you just... Do you want this a certain distance from the stove? Like, is that a... Just try to put a mouth height. Yeah. Um, okay. We usually go for like... So we can just set this stove. So you will end up maybe yeah. here. Uh, turn it on. No. Can I turn it on? Yep, definitely. So 24. We were just going for like... I'm about this tall. Maybe I'd be cooking right about here, you know, stirring something on the stove. Um, so we just tried to put it about now. How's it going? Yeah, it's all recorded. Okay, so the pen is always... Yeah, the pen. 60 liter pod. This is a 60 liter pod. Serve a lot of people, a lot of meals. I've installed three of these stoves in a school. In Nigeria, they're feeding 1,275 students with three of these stoves. Um, it's a rocket stove. It's a, it's a small, very hot fire. So you're going to line the inside of the box with the metal? We are going to, yeah. We're going to insulate, insulate, and then be, and have a metal lined box inside the box. And then the glass will be on top. The reflectors are going to heat in. So what are you all doing? Um, there's a few different configurations of this, and we're just seeing um, like which ones smoke when you put a pot on it. Just how the flames are burning. Oh, that's pretty cool. Quarter grass, quarter saw. Quarter done, uh -huh. quarter paper. Quarter, quarter paper. paper. And we put about two and a half of those, two and a quarter of those yeah, scoops. Yeah, that's quality. <laughs> I know. You can print up a PDF and then cut out the paper and then and we actually have one trace it onto today. tin and mm -hmm. cut it. You What's your website? RachelRoquette.com. R-E-C-H-O-R-O-K-E-T.com. -E Thank you. And we'll show you. We have these little blocks in here. We're making charcoal. That's a cinch. Anybody can make charcoal just heating up the bucket. But at some point, we want to collect the flue gases in this tube. We know there's gases coming off wood, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, maybe methane. These can burn, so we want to channel them down through this tube into the mouth of the fire, so we can stop feeding it sticks. Let the gases keep the fire going. That's our that's our real experiment. Can we pull the sticks out? No, no, I think it's fine at this point. Can you point. check that around again, please? Definitely. I, I just want to check it out. Oh. 
look at that. That's video. So this is after like half an hour, 45 minutes. Oh, it looks so good on film. Oh, Whoa. yes. <laughs> is it, is it it's oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 No, we're but it's been going for a while. Oh, we're oh, cooking. So cool. <laughs> yeah, it's getting hot enough to make uh, some gas. Yeah. yeah. I love it. So, at what temperature does so wood do you think you could set? And it's it's viable charcoal. It's it's the real McCoy. You can tell because it's not oily. It's just black. And if you crack it, it it's brittle. Perfect for the barbecue. Perfect for the barbecue. Thank you for watching. Hi, Diego. Well, they have the stove Dude. tech stoves.